Shanti, the benefactor father is seeing his benefactor children who are his companions. children are very occupied in the service of humanity, giving benefit to the world. They are doing the service with great love from the heart. seeing such companion like children, Bap Dada congratulates the children and says, children, you are great, you are great. He keeps singing this song. So keep singing this song, how great, how great, don't you? observed the speed of service in all four directions. Along with that, he also observed the speed of the efforts being done by the children for self-progress. What must have Pap Dada noticed in the speed of efforts and service? What must have Pap Dada observed? How was the speed of service like? And how was the speed of self efforts like? Which speed was faster? Was the speed of F self efforts faster than the speed of service? 
What did Babdada observe? What must he have observed? Is there a proper balance between the two? Is there a balance? No, there isn't a balance. isn't a balance, then when will the souls of the world as well as nature get the blessing? Because balance will lead to the blessings. It's only on the basis of the balance in you through which you have got the blessing, that will lead to the blessings in everything else as well. So why is there a difference? What do you call yourselves? Are you karma yogis or are you just yogis? You are karma yogis, aren't you? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you karma yogis? The yogis in action? What is service? It is performing actions, is it not? You come into actions, you speak, or you give drishti, you conduct courses, you explain the exhibits in the museum. What is all that? It is performing elevated actions, which means doing service. You can say it is doing service, which means it is performing elevated actions. Therefore, to be a karma yogi means to have a balance of yoga in service. That is, to be in yoga whilst performing karma. But you yourselves are saying that there isn't the balance. Is the balance not there? What is the reason? You do know the reason very well. It isn't anything new. It is very old. Bhabdada noticed that service or actions are not 
อนน้องมือนกา balance รักนิสกิลิก as well as yoga to have a balance between the two there is need of just one thing and for that you have to remember only one word which is that Baba is the caravan har. That is, he is the one who is getting it done, and I, the soul, and I am a soul, not I am so and so. I am the soul who is doing it, and Baba is the supreme soul who is getting it done. Through me, this is why. Remember one word, Karan Karavan Har. It is only one word, which you have to remember, as this word will make everything easy for you and help you to keep a balance. by chance the speed of self efforts becomes less or if there isn't a proper balance between self efforts and service what is the reason for that the reason is that instead of remembering that it's baba who is getting it done through me i begin to think that i am the one who is doing it instead of considering yourself to be only an instrument doing it da- uh, doing it you think that i am responsible i am getting it done instead of becoming karan har you become karavan har you think that i am getting it done get god say So what is the entry gate of maya maya ka you have been told earlier also acha the easiest and the best gate gate for maya to enter you know it don't you which is it i me I to get apura bandhne ke this gate has not been completely shut by now you do shut it but It is not difficult for Maya to open the gate. It opens it easily and enters. If you think that I am getting it done. If you think that I am only an instrument and I am doing it as an instrument then you will automatically remember the one who is getting it done through you Yes you are doing it but who is getting it done through you it is the father without the caravan har 
or without the father getting it done through you you cannot become the doer the one who is doing it You need the remembrance of Baba in a double way. One is that Baba is the one who is Karavanhar, that is getting it done through me. He is getting it done through me. And the second thing to remember is that yes i am also the karavan har and getting it done through my sense organs that is another way of becoming detached because if you think that i am doing it then the ego may come but if you think i am getting it done through my sense organs then you will not come under the influence of the actions that is you will not be influenced by the result of the action and this type of stage is called the karma teeth stage in which you are performing the actions and still you are detached from that what is your aim it is to become karma teeth is it not to become free from the bondage of karmas is it not or do you not mind being bound in a few karmas here and there should you not be bound here and there with a few karmas you want to become karma teet is it do you want to become karma teet what is the sign of your love for baba the sign of love is that you also have the aim of becoming karma teet like the father So remember the word karavanhar in two ways one karavanhar is baba he is getting it done through me and second i am also like a karavanhar but i am getting it done through my sense organs i am not doing it but i am getting it done through the sense organs so sense organs are separate from me make yourself detached from your sense organs consider yourself to be different from your sense organs and then perform the actions through your sense organs this type of consciousness has to be in an emerged form in you not in a merged form when it is in a merged form you sometimes forget that you are getting it done through the sense organs instead you instead you come under the influence of your mind intellect and sanskaras as well as your sense organs i am the master the soul the karavanhar getting it done i am very special i am master almighty authority soul this awareness malik pan ki will make you 
become aware that you are the master, you are an authority. Otherwise, sometimes the mind will govern you or rule you, sometimes you will rule your mind. Therefore, to be in a natural consciousness of manmana bhav, that is, the mind always in the Father, for that you have to experience yourself to be detached. And if it's not like that, then the manmana bhav stage is not constant. I am separate, not just separate, but I am the authority, I am the master. By remembering the father, I am the child. So when I'm remembering the father, I am the child. And when I'm performing actions, I am the master of my senses. Now, this type of practice, attention is not much. There isn't enough attention of this type of practice. You are too occupied in service. You keep yourselves busy in service. However, what is your aim? Is your aim to only become a server or is your aim to become karmatit? Or will you become both together? Is your practice firm that one moment One moment, Baba is now telling us what this practice. Can you do this practice? In one moment, can you detach yourself? Or are you so attached that it needs time for you to become detached? Do you need time? Can you become detached in a moment? Can you become? Can you? How much time will you take to become detached? How much time will you need? You need five minutes? Do you need five minutes to become detached? Or you want one minute? Or only one second is enough? Can you do it in one second? Can you become detached in one second? Can you? Baba is asking again. Those sitting at the back answer, can you become detached in one second from your body? Can the Pandavas become detached in a second? Within a second, just become separate from your sense organs. I am a soul. I am the master. I am the authority. And my sense organs are my servers. 
workers. This practice should become natural whenever you want it. The experience should come at that very moment. Okay, practice this right now. In a second, become detached. Become detached from the body and be the one loved by the Father. Do this practice in a very powerful way. I am completely detached. These sense organs are my companions, they are my helpers, but I am different from them. I am detached. I am the one who loves the Father and is loved by the Father. Be detached in a second. Do this practice of being detached in a second, right now.
Did you find it easy or was it difficult? Is it easy? If it is easy, then Let this awareness be emerged even whilst you are performing actions. Then, It will be easy for you to experience the karma deed stage. Why? Because you can. Can you leave service or can you leave your karma? You cannot. Can you? You have to do service, you have to do karma. Actually, to even sit in tapasya, that's karma too. So, nothing is possible without karma. Nothing is possible without service. And you cannot stay without service or karma. And you should also not stay without them. Why? Because time is short. Time is running out and there is a lot of service still to be done. The method of doing service has definitely changed, but still, there are many souls who are still to be served, otherwise they may start complaining. This is why service and self-efforts You have to maintain a balance of both. Although it shouldn't be that you, you were so busy in service that you could not pay attention to self-efforts. On the contrary, in service, there should be more attention of self-efforts. Why? Because Maya gets many types of ways or finds many types of ways to enter in service. The name is service, but actually it could be selfishness. A 
it may be said that you want to progress but while progressing do not forget the balance why seva me so it is in service that so many so much expansion comes in the form of contacts relationships sanskaras of different souls and maya takes a chance through all that the moment you don't maintain a balance maya comes in new forms it won't come in the older forms it will come in the form of new circumstances it will come in the form of contacts Therefore, do not separate service from yoga. If Baba would uh, tell you, okay, don't do service anymore for one month. Just sit here and do tapasya all the time for whole month. Will you become a ta- karmatit? Can you become karmatit in a month when you are you are told don't do service for one month? Stop. all service just to tapasya all the time cook only once a day and eat only once and the rest of the day just tapasya will you become karma ki quickly then will you become karma ki quickly then No? Unless you have the practice of maintaining a balance, however much you may do tapasya, maybe for a whole month, maybe even for two months, you do only tapasya, still you will not be able to concentrate. maybe your body will sit in a quiet place but not your mind actually it's the mind which you have to stabilize not the body along not the body only you have to stabilize the mind and the body you just sit and the mind becomes stable myself and baba and none other can you do this tapasya for one whole month can you or will you remember service bab dada as well as the drama k 
keep on seva reminding you that day by day service will grow what do you think will service reduce or will it grow it will grow more and more won't it then how can you sit in one place whatever service you had been doing last year and the service you are doing this year is the isn't there a difference hasn't the service increased or has it reduced even um in spite of not wanting that much service in, st- in spite of not wanting too much you are bound in the bondage of service the bondage of service actually can become a relationship of with service if there is a balance but if the balance is not there then service can also become a bondage just as in lokic relationships many think that one is a relationship which gives happiness and the other is a relationship but in the form of a karmic bondage and that gives sorrow if there is a relationship giving happiness then that means it has service in it otherwise it's a bondage which gives sorrow but if there is a balance then even while service doing service it won't be felt as a bondage it will the experience as a relationship giving happiness in service So what attention will you be Siva or Swapushara you have to maintain a balance between service and self efforts Do not go into the extremity of service I am the one who has to do this service only I can do it No It is Baba the Karavan Har who is getting it done I am only an instrument the doer or I am the that I am getting it done through my sense organs So if you think baba is the karavan har then your responsibility is less your tiredness is also less many children say baba i have done so much service that i become i'm now tired my head has become heavy but if there's a balance then your head will not become heavy on the contrary you will think that karavan har baba is getting it done through you and it's only a pleasure and you will begin to in, and you will enjoy it your head will become more fresh there won't be a trace of tiredness on the contrary you will get 
extra energy. Science. With the help of science, through medicines, energy can come in the body. Then, why can't the remembrance of the Father give you the experience of energy in the soul? Once the energy comes in the soul, it will automatically influence the body too. You are experienced in it. Sometimes you do get this type of experience, don't you? But then as you go on this track, all of a sudden, without your knowledge too, you just go off track. You don't even come to know how it happened. You begin to realize only when you start sulking or your head becomes heavy, you become unhappy, then you begin to realize, oh, what happened? Why it happened? So, what do you have to remember? Just one word. Karanhar and Karavanhar, the one who is getting it done and the one who is doing it. Is it difficult? Is it difficult? Is it difficult third time or is it easy? Easy? Sahaj or Mushkil? Say Haji, easy, Sahaj. Those sitting at the back, did you answer? Have you prepared 900,000 subjects? How many subjects in foreign lands? Have you prepared 900,000? Not yet? And how many in Bharat? Not yet? 900,000? If not yet, it means you are not allowing the needle to move forward and reach the end of time. So, you have to maintain a balance. The Diamond Jubilee has come to as much service as you wish. But keep the balance and then do service. And your subjects will be created faster. It won't take time.
even nature has become tired, the souls are also tired. They have become hopeless. They have lost all the hope in them. And when they become hopeless, whom do they remember? They remember God. The Father, don't they? Yes, they do remember God the Father. But then, as they do not have the introduction of the Father, they remember their gods and goddesses, their personal gods and goddesses. Therefore, aren't you able to hear the cries of the hopeless souls? Are you able to hear their cries? Or are you too occupied with yourselves that you can't hear them? You are merciful souls, aren't you? What is Baba called? He is also called the merciful father. And what do people ask from him? Souls of all religions ask from him. They ask for mercy from him. It would be any soul of any religion who will ask mercy from God. They may not ask for happiness but they will ask for mercy. Everyone will ask for mercy. So who is the bestower of mercy? You are the ones. Or are you the ones who want mercy yourselves? No, you are the givers of mercy. You are the children of the bestower, aren't you? Therefore, be merciful towards your brothers and sisters and Serve, and if you serve souls in a merciful state of consciousness, then it will be easy for you to serve as instruments automatically. However bad a person may be, but if you have mercy on him, then you will never have the feeling of hatred towards him or be jealous of him or be angry with him. You will have a feeling of mercy towards him. This becomes easy and possible when there is the, the consciousness of being an instrument. And also, if you are merciful, then it's easy to become an instrument. Let the feeling of mercy be not on the basis of selfishness, sometimes there is selfishness in it. In, internally, there could be attachment towards a, someone. And uh, you think that you are having mercy on him. 
Actually, it is attachment with him. But you think you have mercy on him. Now, this is selfishness. It's not true mercy. If it is true mercy, then in that there is no body consciousness, no attachment. It's the soul having mercy on a soul. Neither will there be body consciousness nor will there be any type of physical attraction. If someone has attachment towards or sometimes this attachment towards another bodily being, towards it could be towards the body, it could be towards his virtues, it could be towards his specialities. But whether it is speciality or virtues, who is the bestower of these? That soul who has these specialities, however great it may be, but still it is the receiver, it takes from the Father. It has taken from the Father, has it not? It did not have its own. It's the Father who gave to that soul. Then why not? have a link with the bestower and take from him instead of from the one who takes from the bestower. This is why let there not be selfishness in the mercy you show. There are many children who showed their delicacies. They actually have selfishness in them. And they say, no, no, I feel mercy on him. I feel uh, sympathy on him. It's nothing else except I feel sympathy. There's no attachment at all. But check within it. Is it, is the mercy altruistic without any selfish motive? Is it free from attachments? Hope it's not that you have mercy on him because you feel that he will give you something or you'll get an attainment from him. And what if it is there, the proof of that, you will say, is that one is she's very nice, you see, very good. And therefore, I have little bit attachment towards her, little bit. And Baba says, no, even little bit is not allowed. If you want to become karmatit, then all these are obstacles in the way. They will bring you into body consciousness. You may say, he's very good, but who has made him good? That goodness if you inculcate in you, that's fine, but, but don't be influenced by that goodness. Yeah. 
be detached or and be the one loved by father. Those who are loved by the father and the ones who love the father they also love only service Sanjaya. did you understand Sanjaya. did you understand You may continue to expand service. Because when you, because to expand service is good, but you have to bring the new age closer also, is it not? Who will bring the new age closer? Will it be only the father or will it also be you? Baba will not do anything alone. You are his companions. He actually cannot do anything alone. Without you, his companions, he cannot do anything. See? Even if Baba has to explain anything, he needs the company of this body, is it not? Without the body, how can he explain to you? Even if this body has become old, it's like an old vehicle now, or if it's a good vehicle, but one has to, but Baba has to take its support. Without the support, he also cannot speak to you. He took the support of Brahma Baba, didn't he? This is why, this is how you Brahmins were created. Had it not been for Brahma Baba, you would not be Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. You don't call yourself Shiv Kumars and Shiv Kumaris, do you? Why? Because the incorporeal father needs the aid or support of the physical body. To speak. Just as he took the medium of corporeal Brahma, and even now he has the medium of the angelic Brahma, and without that angelic medium of Brahma, he would not be able to sustain you. Can you can you sustain you without the angelic Brahma? Whether he took the medium of corporeal Brahma or now it's the medium of the of angelic Brahma. But he has to take the a support. Similarly,
Sorry. He is almighty authority. He is also a powerful magician. Now, Baba, just like in the Lokic world, magicians can do anything. Why can't Baba do anything he wants? Can he? Can Baba bring destruction right now? Can he? He's almighty authority. Can he do it all by himself? Can he bring destruction instantly now, all by himself? No, he can't do it alone. Though he is the almighty authority. Without you. Companions, he, he cannot do anything. He is bound to be with you, to be re in relationship with you. With you, his companions. So how much that love Baba has for all of you? Though he can do it, but he will not do it. <laughs> He's clever. He does not use the magic band. Can he not use it? Just use his magic band, uh, the stick and do magic? He can do it, Baba says. However, the father says, it's you who are going to become the world sovereigns. Will the father become a world sovereign? You are going to become sovereigns, no? He can establish the whole task himself. He can even destroy everything himself. But who will rule? Without you, will he will it will it work? This is why the father has. His father's uh, sort of firm affirmation, a firm, uh, what do you say, a strong belief that he has to make you karmati. He will make you karmati. Should he make you forcefully karmati? A Baba has to make you karmati, and you all have to become karmati. This is the sweet drama. You like this drama, don't you? Or do you sometimes get tired and say, oh, what type of drama this is? <laughs> this drama should change. Do you think like that? The father says, children, everything is fixed. It cannot change. 
It repeats, but it cannot change. In the drama, this last birth of yours has many powers. It is there in the drama, but it is also in the drama. that in this last Brahmin birth of yours, you have many powers, you receive many powers. Baba has willed his powers to the children. That is why you have the wind power. So, what will you remember? Which word will you remember? Karan Karavan Ha. Pakka, are you firm? You'll remember this word. Or when you enter your aeroplane to go back to your country, you'll forget it. Will you? Don't forget. Now, once again, detach yourself from the bondage of the body and experience your karma deed stage. I am a soul performing the action through the body, but I am detached. I am speaking and still I am detached. I am seeing and still I am detached. I am the master. I am the authority, an instrument in the hands of the Father. I am a soul. Let this consciousness become once again 
in you. Through that consciousness, stabilize your mind and intellect in a second.
To all the silver souls in our whole direction who, who are always full of zeal and enthusiasm to do service. To all the souls who are blessed with the blessing of we will keep a balance between selfish and self efforts to all the special souls who serve other souls selflessly and unjustly to real mercy to them. To all the fair past effort makers souls who free themselves from all types of karmic bandages and free others also from the royal forms of bandages. Not better, yet now, good morning, yet now, and namaste. After that is remembering the Madhubin Vasis in particular, the different arms of Madhuban, how many arms of Madhuban have all at time to see a museum, Yang Yang Sarova, Global Hospital, Museum, the Lady, Sangam Bhavan, so five hands of Madhubar. As well as the other Nivasis who are living in their families and living a detached life. To all of you, You have for a long time continuously done very good service. You have shared happiness with everyone and taken in return blessings from them. So, in return, Bap Dada is congratulating such servers of Madhuban. Thank you.
the Madhubani Vasis have served the double foreigners very well, haven't they? They had served you well. How many Madhubanivasis are sitting here? Stand up. Congratulations. All those of the hospital stand up. from the museum here. <laughs> the spiritual museum in Mount Abu. Anybody from Taleti here? Shanti one. Many. Fifth one, Sangam Bhavan. Sangam Bhavan with Abu Road. The servers of Gyan Sarovar. Very good. See, Baba Stringer, the double foreigners, you have big programs only occasionally, but in Madhuban, every day there are big programs. So always big programs. It's small programs don't take place here. Always big programs. <laughs> Therefore, Madhuban means all the five are together. Without the global hospital, it would not work here. <laughs> And without the Gyan, without Gyan Sarovar service to, it would not be complete. Even Pandav Bhavan Nivasis, without them, it would not be complete. And they are very, very essential. And now, what is in everyone's heart? What do you have to make now? What do you have to build? What do you have to build? Yes, now at Taleti, the bottom of the mountain, a big mela is, should happen.
Shanti the name is Shanti One, the forest of peace. But in that forest of peace, there will be a mela, a big gathering, not jamela, but mela. Jamela means chaos, confusion. But here it's a mela, means a meeting, a celebration. Therefore, all have to, in order to build Shanti One, there is great enthusiasm in you, is it not? We are celebrating Diamond Jubilee. Should Baba start the construction work at Shanti One? Because construction work has to start and for for residents of 10,000 people, you know. So Baba is asking, should Baba start? You have to do double work. One is to celebrate Diamond Jubilee and the other to build Shanti One for accommodating 10,000 people there. Residence for them and each drop will make the ocean. That is a drop coming from each one of you. It's like a game. One drop is like one zero. You keep adding zeros and from ten it becomes hundred and then thousand and ten thousand. And what do they show in Shiva temple? They show a drop falling on Shiva and they also show a dot, a dot and a drop. So, so your, your feelings, your cooperation, the, each drop of your cooperation will help to, 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 uh, to get this Shanti One construction materialize. Or should the construction start only after Diamond Jubilee year? Should Baba stop for six months and then start? No? Or should it start immediately? Should Baba get it started huh, immediately? Even those of Bharat are, are listening, not just double foreigners are listening to this Murli. So each one of you with your little help in a form of a drop will make the big palace to be constructed and you will hold a mela there. Even the double foreigners in this year have given a very good high jump in service. How many programs have you held? One after another. You have been holding programs. And all of them have been a success and will always be successful. So Baba has blessed. So all those who were instrumental for the first program, it was the International Forum, Stand up who were responsible for the international forum. Anyone here? The international forum? Stand up. Anybody? 
Yes, JNP Ben, Gayatri Ben, Maureen Ben. London was responsible for the international forum. And many have gone. Jyanti Ben is telling Baba that they have gone. Just three Shaktis left. <laughs> but that is, uh, Jyanti Ben saying many were there, but they went. So Baba is saying to them, multi-million times congratulations who have left and worked hard for the success of the International Forum, which was the next program, the Women's Dialogue. Those who, uh, who were responsible for the Women's Dialogue is uh, Stand Up, Dr. Nirmala, Australians, yes, Christine, Caroline, Rose, it's maybe Pandas. No Pandas in this. <laughs> Panda backbone. Pandas have remained as backbone. Oh, and put the Shaktis in the front, and the, so the Shaktis are in the front. There's one more program to be held, is it not? It's the family forum. Uh, there was a program for the youth. Who was responsible for the youth program? It was held in December. Uh, they're not here. It was Malaysia mainly and uh, Brother Lee of Japan, but they've all gone. And double, double, multi-million times congratulations to them because in the, ch the youth program went a great success. They were the young ones from India and abroad. And the next one, the family forum, who are responsible for that? Vedanti Ben. Africa is responsible. It's the family forum to be held from 13th to 20th of March. The relatives and uh, friends of BKs will come. In this there are pandas. Very good. It's going to take place, so the pandas are included. So in advance, congratulations to you. You were those instrumental to do the service, but if there were no spectators, then <laughs> if there wouldn't be anyone in the audience, the hall would be empty. <laughs> Therefore, congratulations to all of you who were the audience in the hall. <laughs> so congratulations to you also. So the double foreigners have made even their numbers double this time. So many have come, haven't they? And Daddy is telling Baba that even Gyan Sarovar has become small, it's not enough. And Baba blesses, however big you may make anything, it, was, it is going to become small.
Sapsin Parakram Vitesh Kiska. From which country the largest group has come? Russia. Russia. Chota Subhanallah. It is the youngest and it is doing wonders. Russia. All those of Russia stand up. There are hundred and nine, uh, hundred and uh, eighty from Russia. Hundred and eighty now, and the group which left, they were one hundred and fifty. So these are all from Russia. Hundred and fifty left, and hundred and eighty are here. Very good. You have crossed all the circumstances. You have n now you know the method of crossing the difficulties, though you had to face many obstacles, but it has now become easy for you to cross them all. This is why. This is why Baba congratulates the Russians for being so clever in being able to cross all the obstacles. So everybody is giving Yad Pyar. So you are the ones who have made everybody ex come into zeal and enthusiasm. If you, the audience, wouldn't have been there, in front of whom would anyone speak? Would they speak to the walls? Therefore, congratulations to you, the audience, who made the programs a great success. And uh, that is telling Baba groups, big groups have come from so many places. And Baba is saying, yes, they now know the method. What's to be done next? Gentleman is telling Baba that uh, many guests also came in this season. Mauritius worked very hard in bringing the Prime Minister to Madhuban and also those of Africa did service. The, the instrument teachers of South Africa and Africa you stand up. Those te teachers, brothers of South Africa, Stand up, anybody from South Africa? In a short period, you worked very hard. You're very courageous. Those of Mauritius, stand up. Mauritius. Actually, it was also Dr. Kaunda who came, Baba should be told, about Africa. Nairobi did service. Gayatri, you can tell Baba. Dr. Kaunda came. Africa. So Mauritius is a small country, but it did big work, fat work. Little country, but did big work. Similarly, others 
Similarly, you will continue to move forward and continue to bring bigger mics. Is anyone left? Yeah. Ben is telling Baba that Ita Italy has made a film. And someone is telling Baba, there are many newcomers, many first-timers. All the first-timers, raise your hand. How many first-timers? Moni Ben is telling like last time the first timers came uh, in the front and that they took Drishti from Baba, so maybe at the end. You are happy, no? You, the first timers will come in a line and uh, just below the stage they will come in a line to take, to come closer to Baba and take Drishti from Baba. But the older ones will say, what about us, we will not get. No, but Baba, but the older ones, what is their task? To keep the younger ones in the front. In that they show their maturity. This is why you should be happy to see the new ones. Don't think, oh, what about us? The younger ones should be made to move forward. They, if they get something extra, it is actually you also getting extra.